been a minute and a half since my last Pokemon Go video. Welcome back everybody, and if you are a new viewer or if you're new to the channel, go ahead and shout yourselves out in the comments below. I'll be checking them out. New viewers only. I know who my OGs are. Alright, starting this off with a 1705 Windy Weather Boosted Shell God. And since I came back, it's been cold. The cold weather has come back in the Northeast, which is awesome. Nice throw. Could have been a great, however, this should be a pretty easy catch. Bam! There we go. It's kicking off the day with a 1705 Weather Boosted Shell God. What a start to today's video. Something caught my attention HP. I gotta drop this in a gym. This thing is almost maxed out. That's impressive. So in case you don't know, we have received the first wave of Generation 4 Pokemon in Pokemon Go as of Tuesday. And today is my first crack at them, so we're going to try to pick up all of the Pokemon from this first wave today, so I'm going to try to get all the evolutions. We're going to try to leave the city today with all these Pokemon. So the Pokemon that you're going to be looking for are as follows. So we've got the Generation 4 starters, so Turtwig, Grottle, Torterra, also Chimchar, Monferno, and Infernape, and Piplup, Primplup, and Empoleon. Those are going to be the Gen 4 starters. Um, some of the basics, Staravia, Starly, and Staraptor. Uh, Bidoff, everyone's favorite underdog, um, and Bibriel, it's evolved form. We also have Krikorot and Krikatoon. And here's an interesting one. Shinx, Shiny Shinx has been released. Luxio is hatching from 5 km eggs. It should be Shinx, but actually no, 10 km eggs, sorry. So, also we have Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray now. And Shinx is a level one raid, so we're gonna try to hit some, some Shinx raids if I find any around the city. Also, Patsurisu, your first Canadian region exclusive Pokemon. So, took two and a half years, but you know, finally, Canada has a regional exclusive, so that's pretty exciting. Also, Baniri and Lopini, and Riolu and Lucario. Now, Riolu is hatching from 10 kilometer eggs as well. I don't think it's available in the wild, but as far as I've seen, it's not available in the wild, but we'll see. And also we have Chatop, which is going to be an Australian and New Zealand exclusive. There's also a couple other countries that you can find Chatop in, but the main regions are going to be Australia and New Zealand. Also, Carnivine. This is interesting. A southeastern U.S. exclusive. So from the Carolinas down to Florida is going to be its area. So that's like, that's like a, North Carolina is probably like a five, six hour drive down south, so. We can definitely do an episode where we go ahead and get Carnivine up real quick. But those are going to be the Pokemon that are available right now in Pokemon Go. I'm going to go ahead and get all of these Pokemon today, so got my work cut out for me. This is my first chance getting out there. I had some business to take care of early on, so I wanted to have a full day and night to be able to get out there and get these Generation 4 Pokemon, so we got ourselves a fun day ahead. Jim Charters looks so weird, man. I don't know either weird or energetic. I don't know. But I did a little bit of number crunching, and just in case any of you guys aren't good at math, like myself, um, but the pineapple berry, you need to catch 25. Yep, you need to catch 25 of every new Gen 3 Pokemon to get the required candies for evolution. So the Gen 3 starters, you need 25 of each. So this is my first of 25. This is my Pokedex Chimchar registered to the Pokedex. I like how he does the, the backflip though. That is pretty cool. Also, it is very cold and my nose is a little bit runny. So just keep that in mind. All right, 24 more Chimchar till our Pokedex Infernape. Let's keep going. Piplup right here at 409 CP. One of the newer. And I like how he, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Piplup, to be honest with you. <laughs> they made him look you know, like he resembles a penguin, and I get that, but the way he just like moves left and right like that, kind of weird. I don't know. But nonetheless, let's see if we can nail him with this Pokeball right here. 
Okay, he popped out. That's cool. Wow. Wow. See, I guess I deserve that because I said he looked weird. He looks weird to me. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Let's find another one. Next up, we got Churchwig at 360 CP. This is actually my favorite of the um, Sinnoh region starter Pokemon because of Torterra, man. Torterra, like, if you look at Torterra, there's no way you cannot love that Pokemon. It's got a freaking... Torterra has a freaking tree on its back, man. I just... You're gonna see me freak out when I get my Pokedex Torterra. These things are giving me a fit. So this one, Baneri, took a little while to find. First of all, shout out to Chipotle behind me. About to go up in there. Maybe, maybe, just kidding. Um, but Baneri took a little while to find. So this is our first Baneri of the day. 443 CP. And we're gonna go ahead and rock the pineapple berry for the candies. Now Baneri does evolve. It evolves into Lopini and about 50 candies. So we're gonna need to catch a few more of these to get Lopini in our Pokedex. But 
at least we took this opportunity to go get Baneri. Baneri registered to the Pokedex. It's so much fun experiencing all these Pokedex screens all over again. So, got Baneri. Now there's a couple more that are left, but a lot of them are just regionals at this point. And we'll go over all the Pokemon that we still need to gain after the end of the episode. But there's another Pokedex edition for you, Baneri. So our good old friend Mewtwo is going to be leaving raids on October 23rd and the speculation is what is going to be following. Now, most likely it's going to be Garatina. My money's on Garatina. I think Garatina is the perfect way to follow up into the Halloween event. So we're going to, we'll probably have Halloween themed events up until the very end of October with Garatina in raids until the end of October. I could see that happening, but if not, we'll most likely be getting Dialga, which is a dragon and steel type, or Palkia, which is a water and dragon type. Both have fantastic stats across the board, and according, according to one of my friends, they said that Palkia could become a better water type attacker than Kyogre, so that's definitely a storyline to keep a lookout for when Palkia comes around in raids. Now, we don't exactly know what Niantic gets planned, but Based on last year's occurrences, that's basically what we can predict. Alright, but until then, we've got Mewtwo, the most powerful Psychic-type Pokémon in the game, and we got ourselves a 2194, so a pretty weak, um, believe that's what, no, it's not with a boosted. Either way, it's bad. So, I'm gonna go pick this up real quick. Alright, 2194, so that's, like, really bad. That's, like... Why did I do this raid bad? <laughs> yes! Pineapt the Mewtwo! That's what's up! Pineapt the Mewtwo! What's that bring us up to? 522 Mewtwo candies on the year? That is some good stuff. Now let's go find some more Gen 4 Pokemon. Okay, so shiny alert, <laughs> like totally out of nowhere, as are all shinies, right? So I was literally just going through Chinatown, I was going to get something to eat, and just tapped on a snubble, and it was shiny. Alright, and of course I missed, how did I, how did I miss that throw? But um, yeah, I guess, I guess this always goes to show you guys. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. Really? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> like it really just goes to show you guys, never stop playing, shiny check everything, because you'll never know. So, first career shiny snubble in the bag. All right. Okay, so we're back in the lab, and I am very surprised at the haul that I brought home from last night. A lot of really good IV Pokemon. So we're going to start off with Piplup, and this is a 547.93% Piplup, and we're gonna go ahead and get Empoleon out of this. So this is exciting. Also completes my quest. This is pretty cool. And we're gonna get a bunch of new Pokedex screens right here, right now. And I got good IVs for Chimchar, Piplup, and for Turtwig. So going into the Primplup evolution, and that's gonna be our Pokedex Primplup from our hard work last night, 867 CP, and then we evolve Primplup into Empoleon. I'm excited to see what the final evolution CP is gonna be for this. I'm definitely gonna power this up. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll wait till I get a better one, we'll see. And <laughs> freaking Poleon, baby. Ah, oh, he's such a beast. This is one of the best water types in the Diamond and Pearl video game series. Man, this is so exciting. Empoleon, 1481 CP. Will I power it up? Probably. <laughs> Probably power it up. All right. So, next let's go to Turtwig, which had the second best IB percentage. It's at a 91. And it evolved this one. Now, the attack on this isn't that high, but take a look at the CP and the level of this. So this is automatically going to go into a pretty high CP Torterra, which is great for gym placement. Also has pretty solid IVs. So going into the Grottle evolution right here. Looking good, Grottle. Registered to the Pokedex. Beautiful. God, this is so awesome. All right, Grottle, look at that, 1709 upon evolution. And now we evolve Grottle 
into my favorite of these Gen 3 starters, my favorite evolution, which is Torterra. Look at that freaking beast, man. Torterra in the Pokedex, finally. Man, this is so satisfying. 2,668 upon evolution. And this thing, oh my god, it's so cool. Alright, but now for the main evolution, Chimchar. And I'm just going to take a peek at my IV checker real quick just to make sure I evolved the correct one. There it is. This is a 98, I kid you not, this is a 98 Chimchar. Now, 14 attack, which is unfortunate, but of course, this has to be the one that we evolve right now. And of course, the sunny weather gave myself 237 Chimchar candies to start off, so I can easily power this up later on once we reach more Stardust. So, Monferno coming in. Pretty cool. Pretty accurate cry as well. And now our final evolution, 98% Infernape going down. It's going up. Boom. That is sick. I love this game. Infernape. And there you go. Those are the Generation 4 starters in Pokemon Go. We got to get Star Raptor. Uh, we have to get Luxio and Luxray. We also have to get Lapani. So there's a few left, and we're going to deal with that in the next video. But boy, is this exciting. Infernape, Empoleon, and Torterra. Let me know if you have all the candies and if you have evolved to your Generation 4 starters yet.